You know what's even better than being able to play over 50,000 games? Having a little eye candy while you're playing. Gadget Jeff. Beep -beep. Well, hello again to all my subscribers and all of YouTube. Uh, I am Jeff here at Gadget Jeff TV, owner, CEO, president, and secretary of my channel, where I review cool gadgets and toys almost on a weekly basis, except for last year where it was like a yearly basis, but uh, we're, we moved on from that. And I just got back from Las Vegas here on Sunday, I went down with my friend Kendra. We had a pretty good time, uh, except it was cold as balls down there. You would think in the desert, Las Vegas, sunny, hot. No, it was cold. And we ended up renting a red Lamborghini and smashing around town. I'll be doing a video review on that soon, but yeah, I think I want a Lambo. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I've always been in love with video games ever since like the first Atari came out and it's just gotten progressively better since then. I haven't really played too many games in the past couple years, but video games have always had a big place in my heart. I'm not trying to date myself here, but I still have a lot of my old systems, including the Atari 2600, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Genesis, Sega N64, Dreamcast. PlayStation! And of course, a Panasonic 3DO interactive multiplayer system, FZ1. Now this system has a big special place in my heart. Probably you guys have never even heard about this. This was the shit back in the mid 90s, but it really didn't even take off. It just was launched not in the best way. Didn't have a big category of games when it first came out. But this was the coolest system around in my opinion. And uh, to this date, I just never wanted to sell this thing. One thing that used to give me anxiety kind of growing up was the realization that I wasn't going to be able to buy every game out there. I wanted every game, and there was just no way to get every game. Of course, I was too young to have a job. I didn't know how to slang drugs on the street. I didn't know anything about being a pimp, so I had to rely on my weekly allowance, which was fair to low, but it took a long time to save up $35 when you're making like a couple dollars a week, you know what I'm saying? So. Having more than one game became very hard to acquire. Now believe me, I truly wanted every game out there, but some of these consoles had like thousands of games. There was just no way it was ever gonna happen or I was gonna be able to play all of them, or so I thought. So this is one of my most favorite new gadgets. Uh, it's called the Gurlitz Arcade, which is my last name. I thought that was appropriate across the marquee. Uh, Gurlitz, kind of a rare name. I don't know if you guys ever know uh, any other Gurlitzes. Uh, I'm the only one worth really knowing, I would say, but it's kind of a rare name, kind of like a hot girl that's not crazy, you know, or a unicorn. I mean, they just, they don't exist, you know what I'm saying? Well, here we are 20 years later, and some things have definitely changed. I now have a steady stream of cash flow. I know a little bit more about being a street pharmacist, aka drug dealer, just kidding, and I uh, got a little bit of pimp status going on. But yeah, a lot of things have changed, uh, mainly computers and their large hard drives. Now this is a MAME arcade. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that term, M-A-M-E. It stands for Multi-Arcade Machine Emulator. And it's pretty much just a computer with a large hard drive that holds a lot of data. And this data comes in the form of emulators which emulate or recreate sort of the old console systems and our stand-up arcades that you would play. Um, and then it also recreates or emulates the games, the original games that are considered ROMs. It's kind of hard to follow, but you got emulators and ROMs. The emulators are the old consoles, the ROMs are the games, but they're not technically copies of the games, they're recreations of the games. So it's kind of a gray area when it comes in the terms of legality. A lot of heads get smashed. I don't want to get taken away in handcuffs after this video, so I don't want to talk too much about it. But uh, let's jump into it. So I purchased this arcade from a company called Arcades Are Fun. They're on the East Coast. I'll put a link in the description below. But they pretty much make these beautiful machines. Uh, they kind of vary in price depending on the options and if you want colored LED lights and the size of your screen. But they ship with about 50,000 games ready to play. Now 50,000 games is a lot of games. Um, I've only been able to probably play a couple hundred. Uh, but it pretty much is every game you can imagine or that you'd ever want to play from the beginning of time, at least for me. Now all the consoles are neatly organized in alphabetical order. So you got Nintendo, you scroll down Nintendo Family Computer, BSX, Satellite, I didn't even know what system that was. Uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Famicom, Technos American Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Super Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, Nintendo GameCube, the list goes on and on. So when you're ready to go into a system, you just press the button. Now you're looking at all the games for that system. You got 007, Agent Under Fire, 007, 
Everything of Nothing, 007, Russia with Love, 007, Nightfire. I didn't know they made as many 007s. But anyways, the list goes on and on. Um, again, it's in alphabetical order. We're only in Bs. Now we're in Cs. Um, luckily, you can scroll with the joystick to the right and jump between letters, D, E, F, so you can find games quicker. Because the only thing I do not like about this system is you cannot search for games. You have to know what console they were on or just stumble upon it. And with 50,000 games, sometimes that can take some time. Now again, the system has so many arcades or emulators. I even heard of some of these systems. Sega Mark III? What's that noise? PC Engine? Commodore 64? It looks like it was some old PC game. Usually has the date of when the system came out. Does not on this one, but it usually gives you a preview of what the system and the graphics look like. Can't say it's really up to par with today's graphics, but hey, this was probably pretty badass back in the day. Amiga. Amiga CD32. Creative Vision. Anyways, these are some of the old system. It also has a lot of the newer stuff. Let's see. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Ah, yes, Mortal Kombat. One of my favorite games. Actually, probably one of my favorite games of all time. And Scorpion. Badass. Let's see, we're gonna play Novice. Give it an old world. One thing I do notice is, you know, the aspect ratios of the screens of today versus what they were back in the day are different. So some of the graphics aren't, it's a little pixelated because it's stretched to a bigger screen, but it plays just like the old arcades. Except I friggin' don't remember all the moves. I forgot how to do the spear. How do you do the spear? Back, forward, down. Come on here, bitch. Can't get the... Oh, head kick. I remember to do uppercuts. Uppercuts, I remember, always used to take a lot of friggin' health. Get over here, girl. Oh, this girl. This woman. Oh, into the next level. Now we're going to jump into a little Capcom Classics, because I love... I also love Street Fighter. Let's see. Street Fighter 2 Alpha Turbo Edition. They have a lot of Street Fighters. Loading complete. That means it's ready to go. But there were so many Street Fighters, I couldn't believe Street Fighter 3 Alpha Mega Super Ridiculous whatever. But, ooh, I remember this. Insert coin, you hit the credit button. Gives you a little sound, jump in. I always used to, ooh, turn down the volume a little bit here. I used to always pick I think it was Guile, because Guile was shit. Let's see. We are flying to England and fighting Cammy. Cammy's a hot one. Ooh, this this guy. I would rather rather have sex than fight with Cammy. I don't wanna fight Cammy, I wanna I wanna do her! Oh, not gonna happen though today. Not today. Oh, she's a feisty little one. Hit. This is so unrealistic. So unrealistic. I'm out. One thing I want to mention, because this thing plays so many games from so many different years, consoles, arcades, there's a ton of different buttons. You got joysticks for the arcade games. You got the trackball that you use for like the golf games and things like that. But what do you use for the home console games? With the purchase of this arcade comes a couple wireless Xbox 360 controllers. This allows you to play games that use like the D-pad and things like that. Nintendo, I'm playing F-Zero right now on the, uh, what is this, Nintendo GameCube. So this is what you use when you're playing consoles that require a controller. This game is one of my favorite games too. We used to, we used to, I don't want to say, uh, okay, yeah, we used to just have a good time on this game, you know? have some substances and uh, trip out. But uh, yeah, this was always a fast, fun-paced game. And oh yeah, light speed, light speed! You know, it also comes with light gun games, light guns. So for light gun games that uh, like Area 51 and the old American Laser games, you can also fire at the screen and play those as well. Now I don't have time to get into every game that this arcade has or all the systems. If you guys want more information, head over to their website. It's arcadesarefun.com. They also have a Facebook fan page and they update that routinely with sales and things like that. But you can go over there. They can give you the full list of all the games it includes um, if you want to know more details. Now, 
This sent me back about $8,500 shipped, uh, but you can get them cheaper depending on options. If this is a 55 inch LED screen, you can get a 50 inch or a 40 inch all the way down to 32 inch, which reduces the price. Uh, you can not have it be a two player versus instead of a four player, so less buttons. If you don't want the RGB LED lights, you can just go with solid ones. If you want plastic joysticks instead of the metal bat ones, which I got. And then of course the artwork which is the best part. That's included sort of with the purchase of the price, um, but you get to kind of design your own artwork or tell them what you want and they design it for you. But uh, yeah, let's get into the artwork. Now I told them I wanted like a Mortal Kombat theme, so they kind of worked with me on that. Um, we got Scorpion and Shang Tsung doing their thing on the side of the machine here. You got Raiden, the Thunder God, who I always really liked. And then you got Reptile up there puking his guts out, which he does, kind of an acidic thing. But I wanted kind of uh, more of an adult arcade, because one of my arcade, one of my goals in life was to have a arcade with naked chicks on it, so it eventually happened. We got Katana here doing her thing, oh hey girl, and then we got Sonya Blade doing her thing, pulling down her thong, and then we got, who is that? That's not Jade, that's uh... Melina. Melina always had a kind of a messed up grill. She kind of had like the Baraka teeth, but cracking body, you know what I'm saying? And then we got her down here riding on the back, pulling the hair of Jade. And then we got Sub-Zero down here. And then we got Goro in the background being Creeper, checking out the girls. And uh, he's like, baby, come over here. I got full hands, man. Take care of all you. And then on the top, we got Scorpion and then over here we got Jade again. Now, sorry, I did have to cover up these spots with quality control stickers because this is a YouTube channel and I can't have everything showing. But, uh, but, um, yeah, tuna. Anyway, and on this side you got Jade and Katana and Melina and then Sonya Blade with, of course, a couple quality control stickers. Classy. You know, speaking of tuna, you know, you know, Hustler Magazine, which was an old porno magazine, actually had a scratch and sniff issue, which you could actually scratch like the private parts of the girl and smell them. Uh, I don't, would be a little nervous to try that. I um, I heard that was the thing. It only issued like one or two of those issues. But these are not scratch and sniff, even though I wish they were. Now I'm almost done with my new website. When that does come out, I'm gonna be uploading the original artwork uncensored. I'm gonna, ha again, have all the stuff that isn't allowed on YouTube on my website. So I will put a link in the description when that becomes available. Now it's kind of funny, guys. Remember at the beginning of the video when I mentioned not being able to get all the games gave me some anxiety? It's actually quite strange. Now having pretty much almost every game I ever had and every game that was out there, it's almost like I still get anxiety because I don't know what to play. I literally have over 50,000 games. Committing and deciding on a game is like anxiety inducing. It's really a weird, strange phenomenon. So lately when I play, I usually just close my eyes, grab the joystick, pull it down, let it go through all the games, hit the button, and then open my eyes and play whatever I selected. But I have to admit, having one of these in your house draws a lot of fun with friends and family, man. You have friends over, you have family over, you have some drinks, everyone can, can relive the games they used to play getting four people on the sticks, man, it's it's a lot of fun. Now, of course, I haven't been able to play all the games. There's, like I said, over 50,000. There's just no way, even if I started now till the end of my life, I probably wouldn't be able to play all those. But um, some of them do have some glitches, some hiccups. It's kind of quite common with emulators and ROMs. Um, this one, I've, I've probably played about three, 400 games on this arcade so far. I, I would say 98% of the games I've played uh, don't have any issue. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my review on my MAME arcade cabinet with naked chicks. Um, I know I mentioned I was going to be doing a giveaway in this video. I'm very sorry, I'm going to have to postpone that a video or two. The item I really want to give away hasn't come in yet and there's been a delay, but it's really going to be worth sticking around for. I'm also working on my own website that I will put in my next video or when it becomes available. Uh, I'm going to be posting up videos that were banned uh, off my YouTube channel due to whatever reason. I have like three or four of them so far. They kind of pissed me off, but that's the way it goes, I guess. So I'm gonna be throwing those on the website if you guys wanna watch those. Also have some like, you know, more behind the scenes footage, maybe even that naked artwork, uh, arcade stuff uncensored for you. I'm just gonna use it kind of as a blog to throw up stuff that uh, can't be posted elsewhere. So please stay tuned for that. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I uh, will check you guys later, bye.